going on everybody we're doing another live i said i would today i got cash and uh dustin of dustin finds rocks down here yo so uh we're out looking for some trilobites we got about 30 minutes or so before cash has to go to his uh, karate so figured we would uh figured we'd shoot a live uh sadly dustin can't shoot a live yet he hasn't done the 24-hour wait thing which is just kind of ridiculous but uh anyhow I'm going to switch the camera around and uh, show you guys what we've been dealing with and maybe we'll bust on some rocks. So this is the area where we've been working. Uh, you can see we've been bashing on multiple rocks up here and whenever you, uh, whenever you do these trilobites, they're not like the uh, ones you get from, say, uh, Utah that are in shale. These are actually in some serious limestone like this what's going on the adventure closet how you doing it's charlie and liz hey, say hi hey, guys <laughs> i'm uh i took him up to that spot i took you guys to our i will take you guys too because you haven't put out that video yet wink wink uh but here is god this youtube camera does not like to focus properly but uh there is an imprint of a trilobite and then that might be a little piece of one so i'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in my bag something i can take out later what's going on tony c how you doing buddy we're uh we're up hunting some trilobites uh cash found a crazy tree what's going on greg cash found a crazy trilobite i've never seen one quite like this yeah. i'm not even sure what species this is it kind of looks like a bullfrog from the front it does it's awesome yeah this thing is cool but uh, I'll have some close-ups of it. Uh, there's definitely close-ups in the video that's coming out that we shot up here. But Cash brought that to me. And he goes, hey, Jeff, what's this? And I'm like, I don't know, dude. Here's my monster find. Definitely will be safe, buddy. Yeah, there's a Dustin's find of the day. It's uh, it's really far away. It's actually as big as him. Yeah, No, totally. it's, <laughs> it's just a weird trick of perspective. <laughs> Dustin was not having the luck today. I did so so cash was killing yeah, it though it. i found like i found like eight troll bites and a hey, pod. greg says way to go cash thanks he goes uh he he says he expects you to find way better stuff than me or your dad which he already has uh sadly illinois just made a new law that goes into effect next month that uh guys with the first name cash uh can't uh trilobite hunt with uh his dad or his dad's oh, buddy I'm anymore he, oh, I'm sorry. He's a dude. I guess he's all right. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, this is the kind of material we're working with here. This is the uh, uh, it's Joliet limestone, and we're also working with the uh, Kaskaskia limestone. I think it's Kaskaskia or Kankakee. No, it's Kaskaskia. Uh, Kankakee. It might be Kankakee. I get the two K's mixed up. They're both in Illinois. But the one is, uh, the Kankakee is a little bit older than the Joliet, but they're both in the same area. The uh, Kankakee limestone actually has like a bluish clay in the middle of them. Let me see if I can find a piece that I've been working on and I'll show you what it looks like. It, uh, you got one, Dustin? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I turned around really quick there. Hope I didn't make you sick. Yeah, this is one of Cash's. Yeah, this is one of yeah, Cash's. What you're talking about, the yep. blue layer. Yep, that blue layer there is a layer of clay, and that's essentially all fish poop. Millions and millions of years old fish poop. Yep. That rock may be good for busting on a little more. In invertebrate poop. This yeah. might be straight up trilobite caprolite. Yeah, it very well could be. We don't we don't know. Now Cash was totally killing it today. He found some sweet trilobites. Uh there's some more of his trilobites. Grab your uh, cephalopod. Oh, yeah, Show him your cephalopod. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, I've got a few pieces. There's, yeah, it's in several pieces. I think this is part of it here. Yeah. And then there's a cool little shell imprint there, yeah. So, and the rest he has, he has it all the way down to a point. So, he yeah. did really good today. He was killing it. He was killing it. Dude, that one plate, that one plate, and, like, it pumped out this fine, this fine. Pretty much all those fine. Yeah, he, he probably found a dozen trilobites today just in one plate, one plate, which was spectacular. 
but I think we're going to go down and we're going to look on the hill a little bit. Hopefully I don't, uh, hopefully I don't lose signal there because I'm going to be between, uh, two areas of the bluff. So we shall find out and maybe with luck we'll, uh, we'll find some more trilobites. Let me grab my hammer here. Put my hammer in my handy dandy pouch. Happy New Year's, Ozone Fine Art. How are you doing? Oh, Karen's here. What's Karen's that? here. <laughs> oh. oh, I lost my hammer. Oh my goodness. My bag was a lot lighter when I started off the day. And uh, you'll see in the video why my bag is so heavy right now because I found some stuff I don't want to bust out. What's going on, Geocracker? All right, we're making our uh, we're making our way down to uh, kind of a scree field area. This uh, this whole area where we're working at used to be a um, quarry, and they quarried all this rock out for the river road and uh, train beds and all that kind of jazz. Back in the day, before they moved to uh, train beds being uh, like granite and stuff but these outcroppings like this here if i bring up my uh, power hammer that will actually be a good piece to start looking on because this is all that silurian age stuff the nice thing with the broken ones is you don't have to work as hard if you've watched my other videos where we're at the uh, cliff face that's in this same area and uh, that's that's a lot of work, but this time of year, this time of year, it's too dangerous to go over there with all the uh, freezing and thawing and freezing and thawing. Those uh, those big boulders up there will pop free, and there's some of them that are bigger than my truck. It's not a great big truck, but still don't want to drop on you. Yeah, exactly. Well, I work hard when I don't have to. I'm not saying I'm a lazy YouTuber, but I don't work that hard. <laughs> uh, how is the wind, guys? Hopefully it's not too bad. I know walking down this hill here, it's kind of picking up a little bit. <laughs> they definitely are called Widowmakers. Yeah, I do not want to become a uh, fossil myself. Because I'm sure it would smash me into the ground. Good, good, good. I know on my old uh, my old camera, if I was doing this, it would just it'd be nothing but. So, don't want that. We're gonna put our buckets down at the bottom of the hill, and then uh, we're probably gonna look on this hill for a little bit. Because as you can see, most of this scree field here, whoa, this is all broken rock, the same kind we've been working with, that limestone dolomite mix. And it would not surprise me if we don't find a trilobiter three. Like I said, uh, the Adventure Closet found a super nice one. And you guys are going to have to wait for their video to see that. It's, it's pretty flippin' epic. And Charlie found it like right off the bat. He goes, Jeff, is this a try the bite and I'm like yes sir it is <laughs> it's a little uh, little precarious walking down here but not bad no you should be super proud of that one that thing was that was phenomenal yeah dude hook up with me or dustin man we'll take you up here it's uh it's a great spot the best part is, is it's all uh it's all public property so you can hunt through it but it's not a park what's going on kid we're uh we're hunting trilobites today man 
Yeah. You just set them down there. They ain't gonna go nowhere, and then we can look at the scree field. Yeah, I love this little gateway. Yeah, this little gateway. Cool. Dustin was just talking about it, and. Looks like someone right out of the Hobbit. Yeah. Yeah, it really does look like someplace out of the Hobbit, but you can see it's uh, they're pretty tall. And this is actually one of the uh, shorter areas, but like that big one right there that I'm pointing at, that's the kind of thing that'll fall on your head. Helm's deep indeed. <laughs> but we're going to check over here. Actually, I'm going to walk over to the other side and show you guys where they did some quarrying while they're doing that, and then I'll run back. If you guys want to see where they did the quarrying, or if you'd rather stay here, because it's up to you guys. I know I'm the guy with the video camera, but... Hey, I work for you. What's that? Well, this whole area was a quarry, but where they smooth cut it. I'm going to walk over there real quick, see if we can find anything good. Just walk around a bit. <laughs> yes. I've beat on enough rocks today. I'm tired. The mines of Moria are just around the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so whenever, whenever you go hunting for these trilobites, uh, like I said, they are nothing like the YouTube ones. They uh, or you dig? Uh, you dig? Not yeah. not YouTube. That's what I'm on. The you dig ones. They're in shale. These are in a limestone dolomite mix. Yeah, and tough. dude, you'll get jelly arm super fast. Uh, yeah. We were using three pound sledges. I've got a one pound rock hammer. I think Dustin carries a one pound rock hammer. And right. yeah, 16 ouncer. And it just, it's wildness. But yeah, this whole area here. <laughs> That's true. We do not simply walk. Sometimes we take my truck up here. This reminds me of the stuff out by my oh, house. Yeah. Dustin just shirt. found a real nice fossil rock. Hold on, let me flip the camera around. Ta-da! That's sweet. Look at all that in there. Heavy. Yeah, it's solid chert. Similar to uh, Ontario Rockhound said similar to what they have in uh, Ar Arcona, Ontario then. Did I say the name right? No. And there you could, that would be cool, like if you polished it right there. See, it's yeah, the little that's... bits are... Silicified on there. Really silicated. That's cool. Right. This reminds me of my yard rock. <laughs> here is uh, here is the quarry that they dug out, and then uh, of course there's the uh, visitor center. Uh, I got a really cool fossil. I'm going to show you guys in a second, but we're going to take a little hike up here. And I will show you the uh, show you where they smooth cut stuff. Just found a not too old artifact. Cash just found, I think it looks like aluminum. I'll take it. I'll recycle it. It's got aluminum on it, anyhow. I like to pick up trash while I'm out rock hunting, especially if it's aluminum, because I will recycle that. <laughs> Now this area I looked at a couple days ago, but I have not hunted this area. Uh, I'll probably do a video in the future from here because we're in the right kind of rock right now. Heck yeah, I, I cannot stand when there's trash everywhere. Like, I am not a litter bug. Not, well, I haven't. I've wanted to before, but I haven't. So you can see where this was mined away. And this that I'm standing on here, this is actually not concrete. This is where they just cut it flat. Uh, I'm sure if I got into it and wanted to, I could probably cut that up and might find some trilobites in it. It might be wow. too low. Did they... They cut this, or is this just the original bluff face? No, the original bluff face would have been out there. In fact, what you're okay. standing on is the original bluff huh. where Dustin's at, and they cut it back, and they did a smooth job, you know, because they're they're professionals. 
but that's kind of impressive. Yeah. Oh, see that right up there? That's a little bit of a uh, flowstone. Oh yeah. Cave calcite. You can see it up there too. That's the same exact stuff that uh, stalactite, stalagmite, mm -hmm. flowstone is. And um, it's not just in caves. Any void in the rock will do. And um, where we're at, you can find it lots of places. Oh yeah. And road cuts and stuff. Now, one of these days, I've heard, and I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently if I go back further on this property and around, uh, like to the east, supposedly there's caves in there. And my family's been coming out here since... God, the 1940s, 1950s, uh, when it was a mine, or not a mine, but a quarry. But they, uh, uh, it was quarry for years and years and years, then it became abandoned, but we could still come out here and hunt. Then it became private property for about 10, 15 years, and then uh, apparently that person didn't pay Uncle Sugar, aka their taxes. And it became public land again. So yay, public land. No, I missed it. What was the uh, what was the question? I'll keep a closer eye on my camera. I'm gonna show you guys a great big cephalopod. Switch my camera around so you can see my beautiful face as I walk. Man, I went down to one person watching after I said that. <laughs> so, the lossage of trilobites when you're pounding rocks is going to happen. Oops, sorry if I'm not going to face the game. Um, there's not a time that goes by where I don't lose maybe two or three on a dig. Uh, usually, though, I'll walk away with a dozen or more. Uh, most of the way they form, though, in this area, if you hit it uh, just right, the, uh, they have like a, a slight gap between the trilobite and the... Uh, where they're at it leaves an imprint and honestly the imprint is more of the real trilobite than the trilobite fossil itself the trilobite fossil itself is just it's the body replaced by rock and stone and whatever else goes in there uh occasionally they'll bust apart but for the most part i i pop so many out it doesn't matter I think I oh hold on a second Come on, switch around. Cash just found himself a nice shell. Very cool. That's all right. We'll find more shells. All right, I'm going to take you guys up by the visitor center. Uh, whenever I was a kid, before the visitor center was here, there was a giant cephalopod that was over here. And sadly, it is... Parts of it are here now, but not all of it is here. But this is something I like to show in videos, but I want to show it to you guys while we're live because I think if you're into fossils, you're really going to dig this. And I've had people ask me before, they're like, oh, are you going to dig it out? And I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to leave it because this is something that I want people to be able to see. All right, over there in that cloud bank is actually the Mississippi River that you can't see right now. But here it is right here. So it starts here and it runs all the way over to there. At one time, this area here where I'm standing, it actually came back to about here in this area and then it began to nautiloid it wasn't a true nautilus but it was <laughs> no problem it uh 
Yeah. Well, that's not a crinoid. That's actually uh, that cephalopod or what's left of the cephalopod. The cephalopod was about, like I said, it, it was big. It, it would not have fit in my truck, and that's my truck over there. What's that? No, no. <laughs> I think we might get in trouble. I, you know, and that's like I, like I was telling them, this is one of those pieces that I do just want to leave because it's so cool. Yeah. But what if you would like? <laughs> but if you like, um, maybe just like hung it up on your wall. That's some more fossil there, too. Yeah, it's definitely working its way out. Yeah. And I worry in the next 10, 20 years. You know, if it gets to the point of where it's so loose I can just pick it up, I'll probably save it because I don't want it to get all bashed up. Hang it on your wall. Like, anybody that comes over to your house, show it to them. Yeah, I think here's a piece of it, I think, that broke off of here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been, well, heck, I'm 43, and it's been weathering since been weathering since I was a little kid so at, at least 450 million years give or take a week but I think we're gonna walk back over that way I think we're gonna dig for a little bit yeah a, a ton of stabilization needed there yeah yeah this was like the first place I brought Charlie and Liz to I'm like you guys got to come and see this and brought them straight up to it they uh God, I hope I'm not giving spoilers for you guys' this video. <laughs> but we're going to go look for some more trilobites. I hope you guys enjoyed my live. I haven't done a real long one yet because, honestly, it's kind of hard to do a long live when you're rock hunting because I can't swing a rock hammer while I talk to you guys. <laughs> but, as always, I love you all. Thanks for coming with me. And I hope to see you the next time I'm out hunting rocks. Have a good one, everybody.